Hello my loves! I just wanted to give a quick update. We arrived at our first destination. We drove off from our, our friends in Switzerland in Kienberg um, today at around 10 in the morning. Now it's 10 in the evening. We are still getting a beautiful sunset. That's the ocean back there. That's the closest I could, got, could uh, get to it. There are a lot of mosquitoes here right now but Marty needs her walk and I need a walk too but we did it that's our first thing and I'm happy and I just want to have like a chamomile tea now and cuddle up and journal and then tomorrow I want to work all day so hopefully the sun is out so I can load my laptop with the solar panels so yeah hugs and kisses and we're officially on the road! more days it was such a struggle it was so hard I wanted to give up so many times I'm in the middle of living my dream and I wanted to give up so many times and now I'm sitting here in my car and I'm watching this sunset hello my love we uh, came to Norway today and we are in the middle of nowhere at the bottom of some fjord we couldn't find any place to park because the whole fjord on both sides is very much occupied by houses and there really is no parking space where we could like stay and not bother anyone because so far we have camped on parked on sites where there were explicit signs telling us that it's not allowed but we really didn't have any choice and there were also like a lot of people just doing it as well and we're directly as you can hear on the main street leading to the motorway to Oslo because we're about half an hour away from Oslo hi guys we are not where we were two hours ago because I decided ah, I need the ocean so we changed the situation to a nature reserve but as you can hear in the background there's actually a festival going on 
But that's all right. I mean, look at this view. So yeah, update. Day one in Norway, in Horten. last night the festival went on until one o'clock we did not get arrested i really lost it for a time i'm just trying to figure out why it's so hard to live van life in europe and then i remember that in the us there is so much more space right and here there's people everywhere so i don't know if i want to go north today i have quite a lot of work to do so marjorie and i we're gonna go for a walksies and then i hope i can find a coffee shop and then i'll figure it out from there i think oh wish me luck hello guys it's my second night I'm here by this beautiful lake and we are right at the E13, no E16 I think. We were gonna drive up to a pretty huge lake up in the mountains but approximately an hour before we got there it was just too much and we just we i just drove to this camping place i was set on not going camping because it's quite expensive in norway so for two nights i'm now paying 60 euros and i wanted to save up all the money i could so that I can extend my stay for as long as possible but I've been in such a hurry I don't know I drove off and I was determined to just let myself be taken away by timelessness and instead I just I just ended up driving and driving and it's good the way it turned out like I'm not saying anything is wrong with the way it turned out it's just sometimes I don't get myself like this car and this stream and it's been such a disappointment so far in the sense that every single night that i'm not on a camping spot i feel anxious of being discovered because there are all these signs forbidding camping and huge signs explicitly no parking no camping no caravans and although i don't have a caravan i just have a normal car i think it's fairly obvious someone's sleeping in there and then on my first night in sweden a lady pointed out to me that you're not allowed to sleep even if it's in a car i get it it's probably because there's so many tourists and they're parking everywhere and i feel like regulations like that just do come up because people just think of themselves and don't look further than their own nose and then just pee everywhere and leave their trash or something so then people that live there need to do something about it right to because they don't feel comfortable anymore so i totally get that it's not that i don't understand where it comes from everyone's extremely friendly and polite my greatest fear is that when it's already dark someone knocks on the window and tells me i have to go away and i need to drive somewhere in the darkness and find somewhere else to go that happened once in Ireland makes me so anxious that so far I haven't really enjoyed it so like there were those 
fleeting moments where I was actually sitting in the car looking outside and, and driving those beautiful roads and seeing the landscapes open up and the fjords and really feeling this majestic wonder of knowing that glaciers have actually formed that kind of landscape, right? So I had these moments where I was like all teary. I'm like, yeah, girl, you're like actually living in your dream right now. And then simultaneously, I just felt really stressed. I had a conversation with a Danish guy I met in Sweden and he was like pointing out to me that everyone from Germany and Switzerland and Austria is sort of like oh, we need to stick to the rules and oh we're going to be discovered and then I had to sort of explain to him that when there is like a rule a regulation set out in these countries someone is actually there to enforce them like it might not be the police but it might be like a neighborhood watch going through and then making you leave the place so you're actually in another country but you have the mindset that someone will enforce this sign saying there's no parking allowed here overnight it's like everything just adds up i think i feel constantly stressed and I feel constantly like I'm not doing enough and I feel like constantly I need to do more and be more and drive more and work more and make more content create more it's so exhausting look at that look at this how can I not appreciate that I'm actually here I'm doing the best I can. I need to remind myself of that. Everything that scares you is bound to contribute to your growth. And I wanted to remind myself that right now I'm in the phase of starting something new and it's scary and it evokes fear within me and I struggle. I still keep going. I've come so far. I'm not gonna turn back. And I remember when I started out backpacking four years ago, it was at first the best day of my life. And three hours later, I was hyperventilating on a train somewhere in the Netherlands, not knowing if I have a shelter tonight. Because I have a dream. I want to find a home for my heart. I can't forget that this is bigger picture of it all this is why I do the things I do I want to find a home for my heart and I haven't found it yet so I keep going thank you so much for listening I need to get out of my head and just enjoy this endless road trip of mine mm. thank you thinking I'm thinking the same thing where are the mountains I guess Marjorie is thinking the exact same thing where are the mountains I should have stayed up there there were plenty of spaces to drive left and right 
there were plenty of people parking there, even camping there. I drove past, I thought, mm, this is gonna get better. No, I will find something, I'll just go on. And now I'm on the side of uh, the E6. About 120 kilometers away from Ton Trondheim. Eating something, having fat Marjorie. But I don't want to stay here. So, I'm going to eat something. We'll have a walk. And then we'll drive on. Because this is too much of a contrast to me. You are absolutely right. I should have stayed up there. Definitely. Definitely. After my breakdown yesterday and a lovely call from my friend which helped me a lot I have decided today that there is nothing better to get clarity and to get back into balance than the spring cleaning so I ended up cleaning the car doing my laundry by the river, doing my dishes by the river and also cleaning myself by the river. I can't say that my problems are solved, far from it, but what I can say is today today was quite the first day on how I actually pictured the whole journey to be. I've seen beautiful places, everything here is absolutely stunning, that is for sure. I've just been driving too much um, in search of parking spots. Because now I'm in the north, I am approximately 20 kilometers from Moirana. We'll see what comes next. Stay tuned, I guess. I love you very much and thank you very much for watching means a lot to me to know that I'm not quite alone out there and I send you all my love wherever you are in the world. Secrets unfold, it's you that I